too. Oh, and then there was the personal stereo. Steve Jobs brought a sense of theater to the business of launching new products. And now he's bringing down the curtain on his career as Apple's CEO, although he's staying on as the chairman. His replacement as CEO is Tim Cook. He's currently the chief operating officer. Jobs is on his third medical leave of absence due to pancreatic cancer. No word on his health. That's what a lot of people wonder about. They're concerned about him. And they just wonder, where's the innovation going to come from? Well, Jobs is widely credited with masterminding one of the biggest turnarounds in corporate history. Let's bring in CNN Money's Poppy Harlow on the story, and she joins us now from New York. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Zane. He absolutely is. I mean, this is a man whose vision uh, exceeds f most others in the world. His turnaround of Apple will certainly go down in the history books. Uh, Steve Jobs is a visionary. There is no question about it. Perhaps the most visionary leader in business ever, not even just technology, but business in general. Remember, he is staying on as chairman of Apple, but this does end his era at the helm of that company. Take a look back at what he's accomplished. The impact was immediate. Apple stock fell 5% in after hours trading Wednesday when Steve Jobs announced he's stepping down as CEO. Fans of Jobs were surprised by the news. He resigned. Yes. I'm sorry to hear it because he was so great for the company. He's so creative, so innovative. Jobs, who has been on medical leave since January, released a statement. I have always said if there ever came a day when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple's CEO, I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, that day has come. It's really hard to overstate um, just how important Steve Jobs has been to business, um, to the economy, what he's done, because he's really revolutionized so many businesses. Computers, mobile phones, digital music, Jobs' influence has been unparalleled. His latest product, the iPad, continues to break records. Analysts say it's the fastest selling technological device ever. Jobs co-founded Apple in 1976 from his family's garage. Nine years later, a power struggle led to his exit. But Jobs returned again in 1996, soon after becoming CEO and transforming the company into what it is today, one of the biggest corporations in the world, worth nearly $350 billion. Earlier this month, Apple briefly passed ExxonMobil as the stock market's most valuable company. An iPod. <laughs> A phone. Are you getting it? But it's not only because of Jobs' innovation. He's also a brilliant marketer. The secrecy and the kind of theater that Apple brings to every product launch, every other company in the world, whether they're in, you know, electronics, consumer electronics or, or clothing or automobiles, they, they, they can learn from Apple and what they do. In the only commencement address Jobs ever gave in 2005 at Stanford University, he touched upon the secret of his success. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. And Zane, that is exactly what Steve Jobs did every single day at Apple, and I would assume that is what he will continue to do at the company, love what he does. In that very famous commencement speech, which has been called by many the speech of his life, Steve Jobs said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Zane? Poppy Harlow, thank you.